NVIDIA RTX HDR is absolutely amazing, okay? Masterful work from NVIDIA. Thank you very much, it is free. All you need to do is download this new NVIDIA app, link in the description of the video. You come here to your graphic settings and you enable RTX HDR, as you can see here. RTX HDR is on, okay? It, it's just fantastic. The picture quality is perfect. You don't have to worry about the black level and the ICC profile, Gamma 2.2, you know, S, sRGB, none of that, okay? You can have, you know, a, a peace of mind. You're just getting awesome HDR, but now he, here is the problem. Okay, this is the elephant in the room here. You don't have to pay money, okay, but it's not free on performance. It costs performance. And man, one of the biggest strengths of HDR gaming is that usually you don't see any performance hit. Okay, you just get a better picture quality and you get the same frame rate. Not with this one. So man that is definitely a deal breaker to me okay because i have so many ways to get a great hdr that i would not sacrifice five frames even <laughs> to to just get this working let alone 10 percent some people even reporting up to 20 percent performance i mean that's atrocious okay somebody in the comments said he had a, a 4060 i believe or 3060 and he was saying 20 percent performance that's just unacceptable okay i would not use that at all no way there are so many so many different tricks and tweaks that we can have we can do here on the pc to get a great hdr but i do have to say man i am impressed okay i am very impressed i was playing this game uh, with a native HDR and this looks better I have to say that this just looks better I mean just right away these red colors my camera cannot capture this okay I just look at it already these red colors are popping ferociously okay just beautiful color saturation eye candy if you like the eye candy <laughs> here you go this this looks great but the best thing about it is the black floor the black floor is absolutely perfect okay and that is the most important thing to get a great HDR picture you need perfect blacks you don't want race blacks that's gonna wash out the colors and it, it, this is perfect okay now the HDR analysis tool is not reading the peak brightness correctly okay because this is still you know like auto hdr or you know inverse tone mapping or, or i don't know but this is not reading the peak brightness correctly but you can definitely change the peak brightness all you have to do is press alt f3 okay you press alt f3 and you have all this nvidia you know game filters you come here to hdr and you can change the peak brightness so now because the HDR analysis tool is not working, you know, I don't have a way to know 100% if this is working, but I believe it is. I believe it is, but I, I cannot be 100% sure. Now, I tested with my LG C1, you know, 800 nits, HGIG, and then I'm switching back and forth between HGIG and tone mapping off, and I have tone mapping off set to 700, okay? 700 nits let me show you i'm using hdig right now but if i change this to tone mapping off i see the change like a slight bump in the brightness so the brightness is going up because i am doing tone mapping here with 700 nits target so if this was more than 700 nits on the highlights if it's 800 if it is actually 800 i should get clipping here and I mean, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. But if I come, this, this is not gonna be coming out on the recording, so just rely on my description. If I look at this bright highlights, and I go and I switch back and forth between HDIG and tone mapping off, I should see tone mapping off 
being brighter, but maybe potentially clipping some details. Okay, but it's it, I I don't see any any details being disappearing. Okay, so I need I need to test it more, but this should be working. I don't see why not. I mean, Nvidia knocked it out of the park with this, and they got right what's most important, which is the black floor. So I. I don't think this peak brightness light is gonna be broken. I don't see why. It, it, it shouldn't be uh, that difficult. But it looks fantastic. <laughs> it looks fantastic. Definitely give it a try, and it works for games that don't even support native HDR. So now, this doesn't mean that right away I'm going to you know, just recommend to okay never use auto, never use a native HDR again. Just use this. Because you know native HDR, if done correctly, can potentially look better, <laughs> potentially. But when you get, you know, games like I don't know Assassin's Creed, Valhalla, or Mirage, it's, it's the same crap. Um, games that look washed out. I mean, I, this, this is a no-brainer. Just turn off that crap and use this if you can afford the performance. Otherwise, just use auto HDR or something different because this looks fantastic man. absolutely amazing so again link in the description of the video you download this Nvidia app maybe you were not using this at all this is something new this Nvidia app is completely new It's basically trying to unify GeForce experience with the Nvidia control panel some of some of the features that you had in those those two put together now we have the program settings here so give it a try uh now it does work somebody asked me if this works with the uh dsr factor so i am using right now dl dsr it is on i'm not using it on the game so i can try that right now actually let's try the dl dsr factors if i come here to the game settings see if if it works if I change the resolution well actually I would need to change the resolution on the control panel first let me do that when I change the resolution here and then change to borderless and see if the game is gonna pick that up so let me change to this 1.78x of 4k then change to borderless see if there is any issues with that borderless full screen yeah, now it's not working now let's change back to full screen no, I didn't get that maybe I have to I have to open the game again yeah let me do that I'm gonna pause the video try that out to give you an answer Okay, here's the answer. Disable DSR factors image scaling to use this feature. So it doesn't work. Um, ah, that's a bummer. <laughs> okay, it's a bummer. Uh, for some reason it doesn't work with this NVIDIA scaling uh, features. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you have any questions, definitely give this a try. And if you have a this works for you know RTX cards 20 and 30 series um, I'm not sure if this is using you know really the RTX cards features or, or if this this could be working on any you know Nvidia GPU or even AMD maybe the modding community um, is gonna get that figured out because you know how Nvidia is they just want to sell you the, their GPUs they do a great job with these features. I mean, this is fantastic. I mean, how how long we've had issues with um, HDR gaming, and they, Nvidia comes out with this, and, and it works. And they figured out how to you know auto detect the um, you know if it's 2.2 originally or sRGB, and just give you that auto HDR conversion or AI, whatever you want to call it. They just figured out how to, you know, make it work flawlessly. Okay, just it just works. Okay, but they just want to sell you. 
their GPs. Okay, so maybe they could have this working for everything, but they, they would say, oh, no, 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 let's just make it work for 20 and 30 series. You know how, and 40 series, of course. You know how sneaky they are with that. Uh, of course, they, they are in the business of selling uh, GPUs, but if, if it could work for other GPUs, why not? Okay, why not? I don't think this is using any tensor cores or AI or whatever. Yes, they might be training you know, an AI to get to figure this out, but once they do, I don't think that kind of processing is, is necessary in real time on your GPU. You can definitely see the performance hit, but I don't know, man, because, you know, let's say, I, I don't understand how this works, okay, but let's say you are not using ray tracing, and this is exclusively using the RT cores, then why would you see a, a performance hit? I don't know. I don't understand. Um, so yeah, the thing is, it does cost some frames, and uh, that can definitely be a deal breaker depending on the game. If you know, Lies of P, for example, great uh, candidate for this because it runs like a dream. You might be getting already 120 frames, so why not? You get a better HDR. The HDR that comes with the game is not terrible, but it has a minor black level race, or it it might be because of the fog. The game is full of fog all the time, but this thing somehow, it just looks, looks correct all the time and it doesn't look foggy anymore. It's just great. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions.